Hello everyone. Microsoft has been adding features for users to customize the look and feel of terminal to their liking, in this video, we will learn about settings of the background and foreground colors, cursor colors, and cursor shapes. To customize the settings of your Windows terminal, select settings in the drop-down menu. This will open the settings.json file in your default text editor. Let us set the background color. Find the settings defaults, enter the line showing on the screen after the open curly bracket. You can get color code in default.json file, to open it, you need to click on settings in the drop down menu by pressing the alt button. Or you can find code Windows Terminal Documentation website, link available in video description. Or you can get the color code in any application like Photoshop. Enter color code with hash, inside the close double quotes, then save it, it affected all profiles. Let us set the foreground color. With comma at the end of the background settings, type the settings showing on the screen to next line then save. Font color changed to pale yellow. Next settings, cursor color. Enter settings displayed on the screen, put comma above foreground settings line. Next settings, cursor shapes. I paste here available shapes name. Enter slash slash in front of the reference line. Default cursor shape is bar. Enter settings showing on screen, first I trying to change shape to vintage. You can change five kinds of shapes showing on the S reference line. Now I will show how to set same settings in specific profile only. Delete the settings that you type under default. You can set this all settings any specific profile. This is PowerShell profile. I'll set it up here now. I am entering background color settings under the command line, then save. Now setting the another color background in CMD profile now. You can see the pink color background in PowerShell and blue background in CMD. Same way you can set another settings foreground, cursor color, cursor shape also here.
I hope you like, thanks for watching the video.